y'all. Welcome to Racing Crafts. This is the 2015 Christmas card series. Um, this is card number three. Yeah, card number three. Um, I did a little prep work beforehand. Um, I did my inking. I just took two um, pieces of white card stock and inked them up with my Ranger uh, Distress inks. I used um, Chip Sapphire. Seedless Preserve on this one and I swapped the purples on the other one. And Dusty Concord and I threw a little um, black soot up top just to darken it a little bit. And then I misted it with some uh, pearl, pearl water, I guess you would call it. Um, I went ahead and I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to layer pattern paper with this or not. Um, I cut my inside pieces. They're the three wise men. Um, and they are from uh, Designs on Cloud9. They are from the Nativity Silhouette um, set, I guess you would call it. So, let's get started. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping with my background here. Um, Okay. I have uh, three different size stamps here. Stars from the Waffle Flower, a homemade Christmas that I'm going to use on my background. I'm going to grab my stamp guy here, quick. Um, and I'm going to emboss these using some White Ranger Ultra Fine embossing powder. And I need my powder bag here. And I'm going to go ahead and take my static guy across that. I don't like how that feels on my fingers. Sorry about that. Ugh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies, I guess you would call it. <laughs> it's a texture thing, I guess. Okay, I'm going to grab my first mark, which is awful looking. Forgive me for that, if you can see it. Well, how late are you going to get back down to St. Louis? It's really grungy looking. Okay, so we'll put one there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. And I have three different sized stars. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my white embossing powder here. He was and. Um, but a bum bum. I thought I had a spoon out here. Oops. Yeah, there's a spoon. It'll work. There we go. Okay. Okay, 
and then I saw I've got a couple of little notches that I need to knock off with a dry paint brush. when I do that. <laughs> You're trying to get one little speck and you wipe out the whole star. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and heat set this guy and move on and do the next one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go ahead and stamp and emboss the second background and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So while I was gone, I went ahead and like I said, did the other um, background and while I was doing that, I went ahead and decided that I liked this gold background around it. So what I'm going to do is I just have some white paper here. Um, and I'm going to just grab the scrap paper in my first mark ink pad. I'm trying to figure out how to get you in camera here with all this stuff that suddenly popped up on my desk. Okay, so it does have some powder on it already from doing the other one, but I'm going to try and get that off so it doesn't get on my Versamark pad. And I'm just going to take my Versamark literally around the edge of my paper and you're seriously going to end up with more embossing powder on here than you really need but I haven't figured out a better way to do it yet so I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to pull this in and this is some Recollections gold tinsel embossing powder which means it's going to be, it's like gold embossing powder on steroids here. It's got chunks of glitter and stuff in it. I think that's, I think that's what it is. I think it's gold embossing powder with like gold glitter in it. Okay. And I freaked out before because it looked like it was bare in spots. I thought it needed to have more powder on it, but really... It just made a big mess all over my craft table, me trying to keep that extra powder on there. Now, like that spot, I would go ahead and throw some more over it. But otherwise, if it looks bare, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this. And I'm going to... Oh, you know what? I missed the edge. I don't know how I did that. If I just didn't get powder or, or first mark over there, or if I knocked it off. Oh, it looks like I knocked it off. Over there, too. Okay. Okay. 
So instead of worrying about putting that away, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a hot heat gun so I don't lose it all. And you're going to see it probably fly anyways, but... Now that I've got it kind of started, I am going to get this out of the way because I don't want it to blow around as I move my heat gun around. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it, but my background here isn't heat proof, so... And I'm going to go ahead and just wipe with my clean cloth here. Oops, it looks like I got my cell phone too. <laughs> that stuff got everywhere. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Oop, this guy peeled, curled a little bit, but that's okay. We'll fix that. Okay, so the next part of this whole thing is doing the inside. And I'm going to grab a couple um, card insides. Um, I think I'm probably going to emboss them with regular gold embossing powder. I think that's what I want to do. And I would not use that tinsel embossing powder for, like, words. I don't think it would do a good job. I think it's awesome if you're stamping, like, ornaments and stars and that kind of stuff. I would definitely not try and use it for, like, a sentiment or something like that. So, I've got this Inka Dinka Doo um, stamp here, and it is Isaiah 6 9, which says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, which I think goes really good with the wise men. If I had one that said something about the wise men or the shepherds, I probably would use that instead. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Okay, and I'm going to grab the second one, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the exact same thing. and hit that. And on the front, 
I have one more thing that I forgot to stamp earlier. And that is my little greeting message. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about them being in the same place. You know what? Maybe I will do that last. That way I can see where everybody is going. I think that's probably a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my first two pieces. Okay, where did that other... Oh, it's up there. And I'm going to grab some art glitter glue because these are going over some highly dimensional pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and use a wet adhesive. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to really put some pressure back there. And I'm actually going to slip it under my mat here and put some pressure on it that way too. And I'm going to flick some of this excess off. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead. adhere that. And I'm going to do the same thing. Like that. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to press it really good. And I'm going to go ahead and slip that under the mat there too. And there is one thing I did not take into consideration when I picked that background. <laughs> and that is what I'm going to do on the inside. So I think on the inside what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm just going to grab a light blue. I think I like light blue probably the best. because I totally spaced off the inside. You know what, no, let's go ahead and do black on the end. No, I'm gonna do light blue. Black would probably look the best, but it's the least Christmassy, even though our silhouettes are in black. But that's okay, we'll just do it this way. And I'm going to grab my ATG gun and go ahead and put the inside. I am so not organized tonight, and I apologize for that. I don't know why it is, but I just kind of am not as organized as I usually am. Okay, so there's one. And I'm going to grab my second inside piece. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just line those up. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in my cards. Okay. And I'm gonna slide the stuff out of that one. And I'm gonna go ahead
and and layer that guy too. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my front pieces and see if they work out pretty good with a little bit of pressure. Um, when they dry completely, they will kind of stick down better. And I won't have to worry about it at all. But it looks like it's going to try and bubble. Oops. Let's... There we go. And then I'm going to grab my second one. Okay. There we go. Just like that. And then I've got, I'm going to put the wise men on the front of my cards. And I have the negative spaces here just to kind of help me line them up, I thought. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just put them down here at the bottom. He's the front guy. Like that. And I'm going to grab some foam tape because I think I want just a little bit of dimension. But I'm not going to go like super crazy with the foam tape here. I'm literally just going to like foam tape them in the middle here. I just totally put foam tape on the wrong side here. Please, 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 please. Oh, I got lucky. Ha 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 ha. Man, did I get lucky. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to grab the next three. This is foam tape. Okay. And if I get a little over exuberant with foam tape, I just kind of trim around it. <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about it. Oops. Okay, so there, you can kind of see it better. I'm going to go ahead and pull the backing off. Like that, and I'm going to swap these guys. And go ahead. The way I kind of decided where to place these guys was literally I lined up the camel's nose with the edge of my, I'm going to call it pattern paper. 
my background, I guess. Okay, now that I know what I'm working with here, I'm going to go ahead and bring my stamping mat back in, along with my little stamp, my Versamark, and my gold embossing powder. And um, now what I'm using is a Ranger Ultra Smooth. Hmm. You know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use a little piece of this scratch paper here in black. And I'm going to come down here a little bit and stamp it a second time. try that one more time. Okay. And there's that guy. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and And I'm going to put this away along with my stamp mat. And I'm going to grab my heat tool. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to grab my paper trimmer because it's just the quickest way for me to get this done. And there we go. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, oops, I did not get that straight at all. That's better. Okay, I'm just going to take that off. And do some fishtail banners. I think I want to. Bring that in a little bit. Okay, there we go. And this one. I did exactly the same thing. Okay. I'm going to take it down, notch it. There we go. And I'm going to grab my ETG. this guy in and I'm just gonna do in the very top corner the wise men still seek him okay guys sorry it was kind of a jumbled mess but that's our card for today thanks for stopping by I'll see y'all next time um, for a list of supplies and measurements and for some close-up pictures of this card click the information bar below for a link to my blog. Have a good night, guys.